Like, thank you so much for always being there when I needed a laugh. For always smiling when I needed it. Hey, yo, what up? It's Brooke here. Woo! Okay, so today is Thursday. Which means it's time for a thankful Thursday video. And you know what? This week, I've decided that I found a new structure in how to do these Thankful Thursday videos. Because the way I was doing them, I just kind of rambled and rambled. And this way, they're not like 100 years long and I'm not like blah, 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 blah. I'm not rambling. Okay? So, this week, da -da 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 -da, my Thankful Thursday video was about Sawyer Hartman. Five questions. And then I have a quote that I'll read. So, let's see. I don't honestly, I'm going to assume that I found him through Tyler Oakley because Tyler was one of the first YouTubers that I ever really watched on a consistent basis. And I'm pretty sure he did some video with Sawyer somewhere at some point. And that's how I found Sawyer. Okay, so this was a really, really hard one because I've practically seen every video he's ever made. Um, so I went back and was re-looking through all his videos and I came across Dubstep Disney 2 Through My Eyes with Tyler Oakley. And it was when they went to Disney together. And I went and I rewatched the video and I was like, this has to be the first video of his ever seen. I feel like Tyler maybe made a video talking about the day. I can be completely wrong, but I feel like he did. And then I feel like I went and watched Sawyer's video after that. Maybe that's how I found him. I honestly don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that was the very first video of his I ever seen. Okay, so most recently he just did a video called A Letter to My Future Self, and that video was so amazing. Like he dug deep within himself to find things about himself that he wanted his future self to know. Like he wanted people to know where he was at in his life right now, but he also wanted to be able to tell himself where he was at right now in 10 years. And I don't know, there was something about that video that just genuinely spoke to me. Um, I don't know. I was like madly in love with that video. If you've not seen it, um, I promise that the link will be down below because you have to go watch that video. It was so cool. And at one point in the video, he like has a fangirl moment over Jared Leto and it's literally the greatest thing ever. Or another favorite video of mine would be any of the drunk challenge videos he's done with Tyler Oakley because <laughs> they're hilarious. It's Tyler and so while you're getting drunk, which by the way, they need to do a new one. That would be lovely. You think you could do that for me? Thanks. No, I have not, and I hope to in the future. I just want to say thank you to Sawyer for being so honest and so real. He is one of the most genuine YouTubers out there. He's always himself. If he's pissy, he's pissy in a video. If he's happy, he's happy in a video. If he hates the way he looks that day, he hates the way he looks that day. Like he doesn't put on a fake facade when he's in front of us. And another thing that I really like about him is I honestly believe he's the most creative YouTuber out there. Like the from anywhere from the lighting to his video ideas, to his through my eyes, to his little short films, to the fact that he's making a huge film right now. like. He is so creative in the way he thinks to do things. Like even to just sit down and do a simple Q&A, he does it so creatively. I don't know, it just really, really speaks to me how like incredible he is. And I've been in love with Sawyer for a very long time. I think his videos are phenomenal. Um, 
he has such a heart. It's so hard to just sum up what he means to me because he means all kinds of things to me. He means like, I don't know, I just keep going back to that genuine thing. He's so genuine and he's so just phenomenal and he's so caring and he is so creative and he inspires me. I guess that's what he means to me as an inspiration. He inspires me. Like, thank you for inspiring me to be better than I am, to be more creative than I am. Obviously, I'm not the most creative person there is out there, but I'm trying my best. I'm doing what I can. And I remember that because of him, I can try. And it doesn't matter what I do as long as I do my best. And that's the thing with Sawyer. He always does his best. And if he doesn't like the video or doesn't feel as if it's his best, then he won't post it. Because he wants us to see the best that he can be and do the best that he can do. And the fact that he's able to do those kind of things and that he's able to look deep within himself and write a video to his future self, like, that spoke to me in so many ways. Like, thank you for being genuine and being raw and digging deep within yourself to find something to motivate us as people, to try and make us be better than we are. Like, thank you for reminding me that my dreams can come true no matter how small they are. Like, if, if all I wanna do is be a writer, then keep striving to be that. If I wanna make films, then maybe one day I can. But just remember to be the best at whatever it is that you do, and he inspires me to do that. And so. Thank you for reminding me that I can do what it is that I please with my life if I'll just keep working at it. Because eventually, maybe, something will come of it. From your little Snapchat videos, to your statuses on Twitter, to your silly drunken challenges with Tyler, to your challenges for charity, to your through my eyes, to your q and A, to your future self video your short films thank you for being real with us because there's never a time where you are and I love it. thank you for on every platform that you have always remaining genuine and always remaining true so let's dig let's dig let's go in come on this is cool. You've probably heard it once and over again. Your 20s are supposed to be the best years of your life. This may or may not be true. But what is certain is that the experiences you have in the years between 20 and 29 years old are probably going to be some of the most joyous, depressing, scary, confusing, and exciting things you will ever have. Stephanie Yoder, A Year Without Makeup. Pretty much, this is what he's experiencing right now. He's experiencing all the scary things it is to be 20, but he's also having the most exciting time of his life. So I encourage you guys to go out there and experience everything you can and get everything you can out of this life. Because the older I get, the more I realize that if you don't experience it while you're young, you probably never will. So yeah. So, on that note, ladies and gents, do.